Hello grade 9 learners. In this video, you will learn how to write quadratic equations in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Remember, you can only identify the values of a, b, and c in any quadratic equation if it is written in the standard form. And that is the reason why you have to learn how to write or transform a quadratic equation in standard form. Because not all quadratic equations are written in the standard form. Let us have our example number one here. As you will observe, in example number one, we have the left side is x multiplied by x plus 6. So, and the right side is equal to 0. So, if you will observe, the right side is already set to 0. So, all we need to do is to simplify this left side. And how are we going to simplify this? We will just make use of what we call the distributive property. So, we will multiply this x by x. So, we have x times x. The answer is x squared, and then x multiplied by positive 6, the answer is positive 6x equals 0. Observe that the resulting equation is already in the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. But you will observe also that this is an incomplete quadratic equation. So, let us now identify the values of a, b, and c. So, in our resulting quadratic equation, the value of a is equal to 1. Remember, if the numerical coefficient, or if there is no numerical coefficient in the quadratic term, understood the value of a is equal to 1. So, in our value of b, Remember, b is the numerical coefficient of the linear term. So, in our equation here, b is equal to positive 6 or 6. As you will observe, there is no constant term here. So, there is no value of c compared to the standard form. So, meaning, the value of c is 0. Okay? So, let's have our example number 2. In our number two example, we have here the left side is 3x multiplied by x minus 2. And the right side is equal to 10. So just like what we did in example number one, so we will simplify the left side first by applying the distributive property. So we will multiply 3x by x. So we will get 3x times x is 3x squared. Then multiply again 3x by negative 2. So 3x times negative 2 is equal to negative 6x is equal to 10. Observe that the resulting equation is not yet in the standard form. Why? Because the right side is not 0. So the next objective is to make this right side 0. So how are we going to make the right side 0? We have a what we call addition property or subtraction property of equality. Remember, in that property, whatever you added or subtracted from both sides of an equation, the equations remains the same. So since our objective is to make this right side 0, make this 10 0, so, all we need to do is to subtract 10. So, we have 10 minus 10 is 0. So, applying the property, so we'll have 3x squared minus 6x minus 10. So, we subtract 10 on the left side and we also have 10 minus 10. So, we also subtracted 10 on the right side. Now, simplifying the right side, we will have 3x squared minus 6x minus 10 is now equal to 0. 
because 10 minus 10 is now 0. Now observe our resulting equation. It is now in the standard form. So what is the value of A here? So clearly, our A here is 3. Our B is negative 6. And our C is negative 10.